Something that I thought was really interesting that you said uh, last week on, on Grange TV, which is Rob's podcast, and it's a great podcast, you should go and listen <laughs> and subscribe immediately, was uh, talking about street fights. Mm. Seeing those videos, those world star hip hop sort yeah. of people carrying on like that, that, that you really dislike. Well, yeah, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. So don't tap. No, I'm not going to say that because they're, they're going to start smashing Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't say yeah. it's the Streisand effect. Yeah. Barbara Streisand wanted a photo taken down off the internet and then everyone put it everywhere. Yeah. As soon as you say you don't want something in it, people have it. 100%. Or well, because of we've gone this far with it, I'm already done. We're gone. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I hate seeing that stuff. I hate seeing those clips. I hate seeing people fighting each other because I, like it's just I honestly do feel that most conflicts can be sorted with just like working it out another way other than hitting each other. Mm. Like, and and I see it as so 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 stupid unless you're defending yourself, you know, given given proper reasons. Like if you're defending yourself or your loved ones from harm, you got to you got to do what you got to do. Someone's that's coming what, after you. Need that's to react. a different situation. Yeah. Like if you're beefing because one dude called you something and you can't handle that, and like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like you're just hurting each other. And, you see it all the time. Though. And it, I don't understand it because, like, I make a living out of this. Like, if you're not getting paid for it, why? why would you do it? You, what would you do? It's like an electrician just going to someone's house and just wiring up their house for free. But I'm like, no worries, mate. It's on me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, why would you do that? Like, it's work. It's and it never out. ends. It never ends well for either party. Someone's mm-hmm. going to get knocked out, or there's going to be tears. Or yeah, I, I used to work in pubs, and you'd see a fight every night. You'd, mm. you'd work, and it was my job to break them up. And they're always just dickheads just screaming at each other like, you know, I'm a boxer or all that type of stuff. I used to hear, I used to hear did you know he's a boxer, bro? <laughs> I heard it fucking every shift. I was like, mate, not everyone's a fucking boxer. You know, <laughs> it seems sure. like there's a lot. There's like, a lot of boxers. Start working that pub scene, it seems like every second bloke is a boxer. Every, he's a good fighter, bro. Yeah, he's there's been fighter. a trend. <laughs> there's been a trend. Everyone one, just picked it up. One fight I did see was a dude was carrying on like a pork chop, threatening or talking shit to someone's missus or just being an asshole. And then a random dude just like sort of walked up. And a general fighting stance from what I've seen is sort of up like that, right? This dude did the old school, these ones, <laughs> and like knocked him out in like within a second. It was the most hectic thing I've ever seen because he, he took he took old mates sort of by him surprise. He was like, old mates thinking, why is this dude sort of standing like yeah. that? And he just... It's like that. Can, can, and he's can, out. can I ask why the fuck was Batman in the pub? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, he was full. Wow. He was circling him. I dare you to throw the first one. <laughs> <laughs> why, why? Why was like Batman, like the 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 people's champion, <laughs> looking for a fight? Like, don't jump in people's fights, man. Unless no, the, unless no. like you're saving him. I don't think he even knew him. Yeah, he like, just he was, it. He was looking for a fucking fight. Yeah. And there are people that are genuinely out there just trying to. You see them in nightclubs, stand there staunching everyone. Yeah, but they don't. They don't pick like come come to the gym. Yeah, they fight properly. Yeah, and that's what I found after I've started training in an MMA gym over the past year. That the most staunch looking dudes are often the nicest people mm. when they get in the gym. They're yeah. just nice people, polite. Hello, how are you? Well, I found that when I when I was growing up because obviously I, I had a lot of insecurities growing up. Grew up quite poor, so that had its own sort of stuff. Um, but through MMA and competing in, in combat sports and, and, and going down that path, I found that you don't need, like I don't, like I, I really started feeling secure in who I am and who I was. And I didn't have a chip on my shoulder anymore. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, it's humbling when you get picked up and dumped on your head. Sure. <laughs> like you, it's just, it just is a humbling sure. thing to happen. You know, you realize, you know what? I'm not always going to be top dog. Mm. And I'm cool with that. You have to be. Yeah. You have to be within yourself. There's always someone bigger than you. And that's and it's a lesson not just for fighting or mm. not just sport, but for life. Yeah. Like at some point, something's going to happen. You're going to be dumped on your head and it's how you react to it. Do you go yeah. into a shell or do you go, okay, how do I avoid hap- that happening again? Yeah. You know? And, and I, I guess that's the thing for a lot of young people to hear. And we were talking about this before. Like if I ever have daughters, I want them to be involved in mixed martial arts in some way, whether it's just you know some slight kickboxing or, or whatever, whether they're hitting pads or hitting bags, or just jujitsu. I, I found that jujitsu was an amazing thing for me, not only for just you know normal health and, and and training when I'm not away on the road. It's a good way to learn a lot about yourself. Mm. I, I I remember having almost this epiphany driving home from the gym one day, uh, Warrior World Gym in Newcastle. Fucking good on yours, and. Uh, Paulie, who you met the other week, he, he trains me down there. And he, I think it was him, he was like full, 
full guard, uh, full guard, full mount on top of me, and I was just in all, all sorts. He had his legs pushing my legs out, and if you don't know, if, if you don't know anything about jujitsu, it's a very uncomfortable position to be. Mm. And I sort of have learned over time that in that position, your your move is to slow your breathing down, think about what you're doing, and you know work on your escape. 